fights, my fines really started adding up. Welcome to the Vine Center on the campus of Liberty University, Lynchburg, Virginia. Tonight, Liberty plays its last home game of the season, hosting the VMI Cadets. It's Big South play, and it's senior night at the Vines. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Tilly. Both of these teams are trying to gain some momentum with the Big South Conference Tournament just one week away in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. For Liberty, the Flames have had an up-and-down February but did win in overtime on Saturday against Austin P. Meanwhile, for VMI, they got off to a great start this season, but they've been struggling as of late. Six straight losses. My partner is Tim Scarborough, and Tim, both these teams are in the North Division, and that second bye in the first round of the tournament is still up for grabs. Yeah, well, obviously, High Point has wrapped things up up in the north, but there's a log jam in the middle. The destinies of four teams, Radford, Campbell, VMI, and Liberty, all still at stake. A lot to play for tonight for both teams. Liberty has a mathematical chance of getting one of those buys. If they can win tonight and then another rival game on Saturday, things good things could happen for them. For more on this game, let's head upstairs now. Paul Nazigan. All right, thanks, Mike. And uh, I'm joined again by Matt Hildebrand and Coach Dan Manley. Uh, Matt, this VMI squad definitely has a, a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of quality about it. They started off very well, but have sort of limped into this game tonight. One thing's for certain, though, if they're going to win tonight in the Vines, a tough road game, they're going to need a big performance out of Stan Okoye. Yeah, Big South Player of the Year, Stan Okoye, has put together an outstanding senior season. He leads the Big South in scoring and rebounding and recently scored his 2,000th career point. He presents a tremendous matchup challenge because of his size, skill, and athleticism. Tonight, we have the privilege of watching the best there is in the Big South Conference in Stan Okoye. All right, thanks, Matt. And Coach, Liberty, a little bit of a different story. Started slow, but lately has been playing some really good basketball. A big part of that has been the performance of Devon Marshall. You want to look at number one, 5'11", junior Devon Marshall. He's a dynamite player. He's a tremendous scorer and shooter. And for them to be successful, he's going to have to be able to get at least 13 to 15 shots a game. When he does that, he scores up in the 20 points a game, and that can be bode well for Liberty. All right. Keep your eye on those players. We'll see you back here at halftime. But right now, Mike, I'll send it back down to you. Okay, Paul. Appreciate it very much. You know, Tim, it's really hard to believe, but VMI has not won since early February. What are they going to have to do to turn things around tonight? Well, you know, lately, the defensive intensity just has not been there. They haven't been forcing the turnovers, and as a result, their scoring is down, and the offensive field goal percentage is down. Secondly, they need to have their co-star step up. We know what Okoye can do. We certainly know what DJ Covington can do. They need that third scorer. Rodney Glasgow is back in the lineup tonight, so look for him to do damage. Liberty on the other side, they need to just keep the hustle and the flow. They play hard, particularly in this building, but they have a lot of offensive flow as well. And that flow comes from Trap, Cabe, and Devon, three players. Trap speaks the senior, the lone senior in uniform tonight. Expect him to be very good. So it's Liberty and VMI and Big South Conference basketball here at the Vine Center. Starting lineup coming up next. Seventy percent off carpet, hardwood, and laminate. Easy and affordable. We work for you, Sarah. Huh. Seventy percent off this and this one. Luna works to get you more. Your product costs are seventy percent off. Luna. <laughs> You're hired. Hey, can you do 70% off the noise? Uh. Call Luna now for 70% off. 877 Luna. If defense and IT are your game, AFCEA has your bases covered in the greater D.C. Baltimore area. Play ball in any of our 13 local chapters. Hear an all-star team of speakers at the service IT days, industry days, agency IT days, breakfasts and luncheons. Network with the pros and rising stars at galas, golf tournaments, and mentor-protege events. Join the future pros at the student chapters and clubs. Catch a scholarship or science teaching tools grant. Find out more at www.afcea.org.
Chapin Davis Investments, headquartered in Baltimore since 1952, Chapin Davis provides a full array of investment opportunities. Our experienced advisors offer boutique-like services and strive to personalize your investment strategy for financial success. Chapin Davis is Baltimore's oldest full-service investment company and has what it takes to keep you on the right track, reaching your financial goals together. Call 410-435-3200. I playing its fifth game in 11 days. The starting lineup, Rodney Glasgow back after missing three. Brown starts, Okoye, Covington had 18 points in the Maris game on Saturday, and Gore, the senior out of Waynesboro, Virginia. <laughs> Head coach Duger Bauckham, eighth season, a win tonight. He'd tie cadet coach Bart Belairs for the most coaching wins in school history at 116. Liberty will play its 30th game of the season here tonight, the last one at home, and Devon Marshall starts the junior college transfer. Smith, 6'9", sophomore, speaks playing his last game at the Vines, makes his 53rd career start tonight. Coronado and Sanders, and there's head coach Dale Lairs, fourth season, his team coming off that overtime win over Austin P. Saturday, trying to get some momentum for the conference tournament quickly approaching. It starts one week from tonight. The officials, Timothy Comer, Roger Ayers, and Bernard Clinton as we get the game underway, and Tim Liberty gets the opening possession. Well, this should be a high-paced game, but don't expect it to be in the hundreds like it has been in past games between these two teams. There's Smith, 6-9, scores the first two points of the game. Smith getting a start the last three games now, and you can see why. Just a very athletic and energetic power forward. Glasgow with the basketball, and he'll be guarded by number one, Devon Marshall, much of the night. Gore with it right now. Gore Liberty gets it out to Brown. They're playing straight man-to-man, -man, but Trap Speaks is trying to deny the ball from McCoy Gore inside, cannot score, and the rebound's taken by Smith. And Okoye, if you remember the first game, just 20 points, 10 rebounds, was really unstoppable for VMI, the first matchup versus Liberty. Tavares speaks. Coronado, the third best rebounder in the Big South Conference, will score his first bucket of the game. This is a solid officiating crew. They're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. If you go for a flop, you're just going to give up two points like that. Glasgow had been injured to have three games, but he's in there tonight. Brown takes the long three-pointer. It was no good. Rebound to Covington. McCoye touches the ball for the first time here tonight. Nice steal. And, and you know, Trap Speaks loves to play against Okoye. Both those guys are from the Raleigh, North Carolina area. But take a look at, at Smith slicing across the lane and a nice catch and finish by him. VMI to inbound, Glasgow with it out top. The junior guard from Brooklyn, New York. The fourth best assist man in the Big South Conference. That's Okoye and he hits his first three-pointer of the game. Okoye is an inside-outside player, probably the most versatile player in the Big South in terms of being able to score from anywhere on the floor. Sanders throws it away right into the hands of Gore, but he was standing out of bounds. It'll be Liberty's basketball. Tough start for the Flames this season, critical injuries. Let's look at Okoye here. Okoye with the hand in his face doesn't matter, and you can see why he scored 2,000-plus points in his career, one of the top scorers in Big South and VMI history. Sanders' three-point shot is good. John Caleb Sanders, the junior guard from Texas, with his first bucket. And Cave has been really getting to the basket, and now Roger Ayer is the official trying to get a red ball off the <laughs> court. So we have an opportunity to take a look at Cave, and this is just really poor defense by VMI. No matchups. They're not really sure who's guarding who, and you give a Division I player like Caleb, John Caleb Sanders a shot like that, he's going to splash it. Glasgow with the basketball. The Kedets have really had a tough few weeks. This one will go, and it's now 7-5. Liberty's lead is two. And Glasgow has missed the last few games with a groin injury, and when you take a team's point guard, particularly a three-year starter, the offensive flow is sometimes not going to be there, and VMI has struggled without him in the lineup. Speaks playing his last game here at home. His senior season takes the jump shot, can't hit it. Rebound taken by the Kedets. That was Gore who came down with that one. Covington, double team, but a jump ball call. Possession will belong 
to VMI. Great job by Smith of helping Coronado because when you're isolated with Covington, he's very quick with spin moves to the basket, and he's looking to dunk. But take a look at Smith just kind of coming over and helping him and forces the tie-up, but the possession arrow goes to VMI. Okoye's jumper is good. Another three for Okoye. With him dialed in the way he is right now, you can tell he's looking to have a big night here in Lynchburg. During this period where VMI has struggled, they've only shot 26% from the field. As Speak scores his first two points. And uh, they, uh, they've actually been outscored in the last six games by 16 points. That's remarkable. Yeah, and obviously that, that number is skewed by the 112-74 loss on Saturday. But a different start to this game with BMI scoring at will, it seems like, so far in the early going. Glasgow's three gives the Keydets their first lead of the game. It's 11-9, just over 16 minutes to play here in the first half at the Vine Center on the campus of Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia. Coronado nice makes the nice move. He can't score, though, and it's Glasgow who comes away with it. But you can see the development of the offensive skills of Juan Coronado and a foul shooting at three. McCoye will be going to the free throw line. Devon Marshall picks up his first. McCoye will get three free ones. But we'll take a look a couple plays before with Trap Speaks, the only senior on this team in uniform, knocking it down. But then back comes Rodney Glasgow. And no, it must feel great for him to knock down his first three since returning back into the lineup. McCoye is a 65% free throw shooter. At Rims out, you know, as a team, the Kedets are only shooting 64% from the free throw line, the worst free throw shooting team in the Big South Conference. And Okoye is right there, 64.7. He may get, get a third one. But you know, you know, we're, we're near the end of the season. Okoye was preseason player of the year, and he's really lived up to that billing, leading the conference and scoring at 20 points a game. And I think he's closer, if not the top rebounder in the league as well. Third free throw is no good. Coronado with the rebound. The Kedets lead it by three. Again, that full court pressure. Speaks. Sanders. And you can just, what we talked about at the top, Mike, the defensive pressure is just not there. When they trap in the backcourt, teams are handling it very easily. Speaks all the way, and he's fouled. He'll be going to the free throw line, and Tavares Speaks is the seventh best free throw shooter in the Big South Conference at 81%. Liberty would love to spend the night at the free throw line. VMI leads Liberty by three here in Lynchburg, Virginia. We'll be back in a minute. Be free to be you. The freedom to drive what you want to drive, wear what you want to wear, and bank where you want to bank. At Carter Bank & Trust, you'll find the freedom to bank the way you like. Personal service with a smile, face-to-face -face from people that know you. And with services like our no-fee debit card, lifetime free checking, and over 100 convenient locations, you're free to bank your way. Carter Bank & Trust, the freedom to be you. Distance education has come a long way. Today, students can still follow their dreams without uprooting their lives. With Liberty University, more than 12,000 online students graduate each year with the same competitive degree that students on our resident campus earn. As a pioneer in distance education, we were among the first and continue to be ranked as one of the best in online education. And because we're a nonprofit university, Liberty invests back into you and your future. Unlike other popular online schools who invest in the pockets of their shareholders, we also happen to offer the lowest tuition rates among popular online schools, making a degree and investment you can afford. Call us today to begin earning your degree. This game is brought to you by Team Liberty partner Carter Bank and Trust, the home of lifetime free checking. This Liberty VMI series is tied at 14-14. Liberty won here last year, 78-69. The Flames have actually won nine of the last 13 games played here at the Vines, including three straight over VMI, but VMI did beat Liberty in Lexington in early January by 13 points. And uh, in this game, VMI has a three-point lead just underway, 15-56. 
to go in the first half. Mike Tilly and Tim Scarborough with you on the Flame Sports Television Network. And the only senior on Seniors Night is Tavares Speaks at the free throw line, makes his first one. The trap has been playing very well the last several games. In fact, 17 of the last 18 scoring in double figures. Again, the only senior on the team in uniform, so he's looking to have a big night on his night. He makes both free throws. He's got four points right now. Four of Liberty's 11. Coming brings the that. Flames within one. Coming off 18 points on Saturday versus Austin P in the Bracket Buster game, a game Liberty won by six in overtime on this floor. Gore with the basketball. Marshall gets a hand on it. Gielo dives in there, but it's Glasgow who comes away with it. The feed to Covington. Covington can't score. Gielo gets it out quickly to Speaks. The Flames want to run, and now they'll slow it down. Pretty good transition defense that time by VMI. They matriculated back quickly. Devon Marshall with the air ball there. Okoye with the rebound. Marshall had uh, 15 points in the VMI game in Lexington in early January. That effort by Gore could not score. And it'll belong to Liberty, I believe. Well, how about the performance last Tuesday that Devon Marshall put together 29 second half points versus Longwood in that wild finish, 102-101 <laughs> final. We had a lot of crazy things happen that night, not the least of which is the shooting spree Devon Marshall went on at the end of that game. Marshall's so important to this uh, Liberty offense. That was VMI that actually got the inbound it, but Liberty takes it away. Flames trail it by one. Dialo also in now is Casey Roberts, who wears number three. Sanders. Vanderpol is in the lineup now for the Flames. This three-pointer by Sanders is no good. Vanderpol has the rebound, but throws it right to Covington. Both teams have power forwards that are capable of pushing. We just saw Tomas Giello push it, and now Okoye for VMI pushed it down the floor. How about that brick? <laughs> All Britain could not connect. Roberts three-point shot. No good, and it's Okoye with the rebound, the number one rebounder in the conference. Nine a game. Here's Joe Carr, number 14. He's been the guy running the show in the absence of, of uh, Rodney Glasgow. Speaks takes that one away from Okoye. Some silly turnovers by both teams the last couple possessions, too. Sanders. Speaks. Finds Gielo, but a foul will be called on number 35, Tim Marshall. That's the first on the freshman guard out of Virginia Beach. And you know, Gielo doesn't really show you a lot of back to the basket skill set. You know, he likes to face up, so you saw him posting there. He's versatile enough, but they just don't need him to because of with Coronado, Vanderpool, Agukwe, you got enough guys to do just that. Big South Conference North Division matchup here tonight. Liberty and VMI. Liberty playing at home in the white jerseys. Vanderpool finds Sanders back to Vanderpool, but it's knocked out of bounds. It'll be the Flames basketball. And Sanders, his M.O. of late has been really getting to the rim and finishing shots. His, his development has been nothing short of outstanding the last, and especially the month of February, getting to the free throw line and getting to the bucket and, and scoring in double figures. Gielo inside to Vanderpol. Back to Gielo, a good three-point shooter. Won't go. Vanderpol rebound follow, and he's fouled. He'll be going to the free throw line. Joel Vanderpol, the junior center out of Fort Myers, Florida. So when VMI goes to their bench, they're very small. You see in the zone, but Brown at six feet trying to hold off Vanderpol at 6'10", and he couldn't do it, but Vanderpol gets fouled. He'll go to the line for two. There's Vanderpol. Liberty as a team shoots 71% from the free throw line. Vanderpol is a 64% free throw shooter. Normally averages about five points a game, and this will be his first attempt the free throw line tonight, and it's good. And Joel's coming off of that back surgery in the offseason, and he's gotten through this year. Got dinged up a little bit last week in the Longwood game in warm-ups, but didn't play Saturday, but it's good to see him back in uniform. That foul, by the way, according to the scoreboard, was whistled against Stan Okoye, and that's his first personal foul in this game. Vanderpol with both of his free throws. Liberty leads it by a point. 
He gives Liberty a solid lift off the bench, 14 minutes a game. Okoye with a nice move against Vanderpol. Scores again, that's nine points for the senior forward. And that's a play VMI runs to perfection most nights, the isolation around the top of the key for Okoye. Roberts goes down the lane, finds Speaks. Speaks pulls up, his jumper is good. Trap Speaks continues to knock down the patented pull-up. Six points for Speaks. Glasgow's three-pointer is good. Eight points for the junior guard. Perhaps I spoke too soon when I said don't expect a high-scoring game. Both <laughs> teams are running like a couple of piston engines, man. It just smooth sailing at both both ends. Vanderpol double team. He's fouled. He'll be going to the free throw line. It does remind me a little bit of that Liberty Longwood game <laughs> so far. It really does, especially at the end of that game. See, Tavares speaks, doing what he does as good as anybody in the Big South, shooting the 15-foot pull-up. He's been knocking down threes of late as well, shooting a solid 44% from downtown in Big South play. Speaks is two of uh, three from the field here tonight. He's got six points. Vanderpol with his third free throw of the first half. Some more substitutions. Devon Marshall comes back into the lineup for Roberts. VMI had to get Covington back on the floor. They're just so small. They list Covington at 6'9". He's probably more like 6'7", but he plays like a 6'11 player with the length and the explosiveness off the, off the bounce. Covington wears number 24. That second free throw is no good, but we've got a foul being called on Gielo underneath, and that's the first on the sophomore forward out of Poland. You see Coach Dale Lair, fourth season here at Liberty. He and Duggar Balcom doing battle again, and Duggar has had trouble winning on this floor the last three years with Dale at the helm. Brown going against Sanders. Scores over Vanderpol. Nice move by Brian Brown. First two points for the sophomore guard out of Kings Mountain, North Carolina. Marshall, Gielo, again, open for his second three-pointer. This one's no good. Carr has the rebound for the Kedets. Gielo is too good of a shooter to be missing that far off. He really rushed it that time. Glasgow is open, gives it to Carr. This is Brown. Can't score. Tipped out by Covington. Speaks. Hurdles the uh, Flames bench, it'll belong to VMI. And Mike, take a look at Brown coming off the dribble handoff series. And the help side by Joel Vanderpoel, a bit tardy. He just missed getting a block shot. A nice lefty hook layup by Brown. Coronado and Smith have checked back in the lineup for the Flames. Gielo has gone to the bench along with Vanderpoel. And VMI with a three-point lead, just over 12 minutes to go here in the first half. Lasco, that's a Koye. Liberty playing a matchup zone, and I don't think VMI read it properly, and that pass got stolen. Marshall to Speaks. Coronado Travel. trying to set the screen, and Speaks travels, turns it over. 11.51 to go in the first half. Liberty and VMI separated by only 50 miles. The Kedets lead the Flames by three. It's the President's Day event at your local Ford dealer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time to say big at your local Ford dealer right now. Save your hard-earned money on the Ford that's right for you. Well, that's right. It's the President's Day event at your local Ford dealer. I referred my friend to DirecTV, and now I get $10 off my bill every month. But helping her save some money, that just means the world to me. See, we get some really bad tornadoes around here, and at one point, she lost everything that she had. So when it came time to rebuild, I told her about DirecTV. Refer a friend to DirecTV, and you'll both get $10 off your bill every month. Just give them your account number before they call 1-855-REFER-NOW. Get NBA League Pass right now from DirecTV and don't miss a minute of live NBA action. 
NBA League Pass delivers games on TV, online, and mobile. That's right. Buy NBA League Pass and you get the games on all platforms. Watch live action wherever you are and see the big NBA stars shine in big games throughout the season. Get NBA League Pass now for this limited time offer of only $24.99 per month for four months. To order, call 1-800-GET-SPORTS or text NBA to 223-322. VMI with a three-point lead over Liberty, 19-16 here in the first half. Let's take a look at the Carter Bank and Trust game in a glance. VMI blistering right now from the field, 54%. Liberty was just 41, but 42, but they're getting to the free throw line. And you see already four knockdowns from the three, land of three by VMI. So that's something they hang their hats on. They try to make nine, or they actually do make about nine per game, leading the Big South. So that's a good start for Duggar Balcom's team. In the game they played uh, in early January in Lexington, VMI outscored Liberty 36-18 from three-point land in that meeting. And uh, so we'll be watching the three-point shooting throughout this game as well. And you know, a telling stat is uh, Alan York does our homework for us. And I, I cheat off his paper, our radio guy. But he came up with 40% in the last six games for VMI from the field and just 27 and their, their opponents are shooting 52 and 49 from three so you know, that number has obviously changed and it continues to go up as, as Okoye knocked out his third three of the night. He's got 12 points Sanders racing to the other end he's fouled and he'll be going to the free throw line the foul called on Brian Brown and uh, Okoye knocks down this three the play before the defense was right there. It looked like Smith almost got a hand on it, but no matter from Stan Okoye locked in tonight, the senior from Raleigh, North Carolina for VMI. Okoye scored 20 points in uh, that Liberty VMI game in early January as Sanders makes his first free throw. There's a look at Okoye, the senior forward out of Raleigh, North Carolina, has 30 or more points in five games. That's this remarkable, season. just remarkable. And, and 2,000 point club, nothing to sneeze at. He could be one of three players, I believe, in Big South history with 2,000 points, and he's approaching 1,000 rebounds. He's got a chance to really cement his legacy at this school and in this conference. Sanders with the two free throws, brings Liberty back to within four, 11-11 to go in the first half. That jumper is no good by Covington. Smith got the rebound to Sanders. He wants to run. Sanders again to the basket, and a blocking foul will be called on the Kedets. John Caleb Sanders does a great job of probing the defense. Just because there's bodies back does not mean that they are ready to defend. And you see Brown and Covington really just got tangled up and that tiny seam, John Caleb Sanders takes advantage and gets himself to the free throw line. Brown with his second personal foul here in this game. He only played seven minutes in that Maris game. He was uh, sick, really, and didn't get to see a lot of playing time on Saturday night. But Sanders again at the free throw line, a 75% free throw shooter. Actually, Liberty's leading scorer right now at 14 a game. This is his first one there. That number goes up in conference to 17 a game. And he's really making a case for a, a all-league bid this year. He's been playing absolutely great basketball last Tuesday. Almost a triple-double with 24 points, 10 assists, and 7 rebounds. That sounds like a Jesse Sanders game, but no, that was John Caleb. Tim Marshall has checked in for the Kedets. Carr is also in there. And now I have Carr and Glasgow, and I mentioned Carr. He played against the Sanders brothers in high school in the homeschool league down in Houston, Texas, in the Sugar Land, Texas area. Glasgow missed the jumper. They battle for it. It's on the floor. The officials will call a jump ball, and it belongs to Liberty this time. Getting physical. and Yeah, we set the table at the beginning. Talked about both these teams still with an opportunity to get a bye in the first round of the Big South Tournament, which starts next week down in Myrtle Beach. So, you know, if Liberty can win this one and then Saturday, and they, of course they need some help, they need Campbell to drop a couple this week. But mathematically, they're still in it. Liberty trailing by three. Speaks will pull up, take the two-pointer. Doesn't go down, tipped out, controlled by the Kedets. That's uh, number 14, Joe Carr. Okoye, back to Carr. Three-point shot in the corner, no good for Marshall. And there's a foul called underneath. 
Devon Marshall hit the ground. So did Carr. A, a collision with the car, but fortunately it was just <laughs> Joe Carr. So <laughs> Devon Marshall was okay. Take a look at this collision. And Marshall and Carr get tangled up. No harm, no foul there. And actually, it was a foul. <laughs> and Devon Marshall will go to the line. And with 10-19, Liberty with just two team fouls, but VMI with already seven. They're in the bonus. Carr with his first personal here tonight. That free throw no good. Coronado, though, with the rebound. He forced.